All right, what is going on, guys and girls? Uh, today we have a little bit different of a kind of video here. Um, normally, most of my most of the gameplay that I post here is, you know, well, exactly that gameplay. I do a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of action games, first-person shooters, those sorts of things. But uh, today we have something a little bit different, and this is going to be more exploratory and exploring stuff. But uh, this is a nifty little game called Universe Sandbox 2, and uh, well, it's exactly what it says it is. It is a uh, Universe Sandbox. Look at it. Here's the sun rotating rapidly because I think we have it on days per second. And uh, yeah, it's kind of great. Look, you can even see this. The game is so amazing. It takes so many different physics and uh, different settings that you set up to uh, to scale. Like, look, at here's the Earth. Say hi, Earth. Spinning rapidly because it's days a second right now. Let's let's lower this time. I believe the slider's right down here. We can change it to like hours a second. Look at that rotating Earth right there. You can see all the city lights. It's nice and pretty. But uh, let's go up a little bit. Zoom out. So this is a already pre-generated uh, world. I suppose that's the best name for it. It is the solar system. If we would go up here and go to uh, new empty simulation. It would be, oh, well, that'd be a new empty simulation for you. But uh, if we go to open, we can get a whole bunch of different situations here. Like uh, we could do, um, there, there's so many different things. Let's do uh, Saturn with rings. So this actually emulates Saturn with an actual grid of ring structures here. And then I believe all orbiting around it are all the uh, like 50 or 60 moons of Saturn. I'm not sure. I can name the major ones, but not every single one. Let's uh, let's find Titan, shall we? Where are you, Titan? It's somewhere. Should be somewhere in here, but boy, I cannot see anything in this mess. But if you have a mess like this and you want to find something and it's uh, not anywhere nearby, here's what you do. You hit this chart button right here. And it will line up everything like this. So let's see. Oh, there it is. Second or, you know, biggest moon in the uh, solar system. Uh, biggest thing in this whole region. And uh, let's out of the chart. And there you go. Titan right there. Orbiting very close to Saturn. Gray ball, which is actually how you would see Titan from space. So very, very accurate representation there in the game. But uh, if we were to turn off... I believe it's sim settings, and if we turn off trails, yeah, you get this nice, pretty view of Saturn's rings. Now, granted, it's not as beautiful as it would be because from this distance, it would all kind of blend into one ring system, but that's just an actual physical representation of uh, Saturn's rings there with all the little moonlets keeping uh, all the rings in play like they do in, uh, in real life. See? Daphne right here small little it doesn't render things very small very well but uh, it's still it's still such a beautiful beautiful simulation now uh, let's go back to that solar system simulation we had right here first one and uh, so the game like I said takes a lot of things into uh, account when designing these systems you know like uh, if we were to turn the trails back on like it should be um, you could even see that the sun in this whole system here, if we turn up the, uh, system there, you'd see that the sun actually orbits around its own berry system or a berry center with the whole, uh, solar system, which is actually kind of cool because that's actually how our sun moves. It doesn't stay in one spot. It kind of has its own little orbit that it, uh, from all the planets pulling and tugging on it. But, uh, if we slow this down real quick, let's do about days a second here go to earth right here we can view it spinning rapidly yet again but uh a nifty little feature is that you can go here and let's do minutes of seconds and uh so if you don't know this already the uh the sun is about eight light minutes from earth one astronomical unit it's like 8.32 uh light seconds or light minutes from earth so it takes light eight minutes to get from the sun to earth and uh gravity propagates at the speed of light so if we were to well it, it propagates close to the speed of light i believe um it's probably not exact we just don't know but um if we were to take the sun right here and to do something bad to it let's say uh let's just get rid of it shall we 
if we were to just uh, delete the sun here, goodbye sun, and we were to click on earth here, and uh, we were to check it out, first things you would uh, notice is that uh, it's slowly getting very, very cold here. The uh, temperature will start to drop very quickly, and then uh, you'll also notice that its orbit has now changed into a straight line along with all the other planets, and that is because the sun's gone. But uh, it simulates all of that. Look at the whole the whole planet is getting covered in ice. Oh my goodness! Even sub-Saharan Africa will be covered in ice in a few seconds here. Let's change it to hours a second. So you slowly watch the world turn completely cold and frosted because of no sun. Oh boy. This is taking longer than I thought, but uh, there you go. As you can see, everything is getting completely frosted over, and we are at 7 degrees Celsius, which I'm not sure if you can change that over to Fahrenheit, but I don't really want to. But, uh, yeah, so that's just one of the cool things you can do. Uh, another cool thing you can do is, you know, just at your leisure, hey, Earth, I don't, I don't like you anymore. I've decided that we have to uh, part ways here, and I'm just going to click Power. I'm going to hit Explode, and I'm just going to... Explode the earth like that. Goodbye earth Good goodbye. You're done for done zode now if you want to see that in a better um, In a better fashion. Let's change this to about a uh, Minutes a second here, and let's uh, let's click on Venus here. Hello Venus. You're still super 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 hot Because you're you still got all that greenhouse gas um, Holding in all that temperature, but if we were to hit edit or um power and hit explode on you well you would slowly start to crumble and explode which is a such a cool thing that you can do if we were to hit um, a new simulation of the solar system and hit power and hit explode and let's shorten this a little bit so we can get an actual real play-by-play -play here of uh, the Sun exploding and there you go that is the sun exploding into a uh, going supernova, which wouldn't actually happen with our sun, but it's about to happen. You can watch it here from the safety of Earth as the sun slowly goes supernova, and it would take about eight minutes realistically right now to get here, but let's speed it up just a tiny bit. So we're going minutes a second, and uh, let's watch the Earth get engulfed in a ball of fire, right? It should be happening any second now. And... Well, I suppose the supernova is actually made of matter, so it's not going to propagate at the speed of light. However, it's going to be pretty dang close. As soon as those gas clouds hit the Earth, well, it's game over for us. And there you go. Goodbye atmosphere. That's gone. First thing to be stripped away. Oceans receding. Go by oceans, uh, plant life on fire, and now just a ball of ash as the uh, supernova slowly expands to engulf everything. Not sure any. Whoosh. Even even the outer solar system and all those planets gone. So it's it's such a cool simulation game. I suppose that we can do historical things here. We can do. Um, the shoemaker levy 9 collision onto Jupiter, which was a thing that happened um, a little while ago. I don't, I think, I think Voyager captured those images, though I'm really not entirely certain, because I do not, I'm just not sure. But, uh, series of comets, shoemaker levy 9 uh, broke up and uh, caused a whole bunch of explosions in the upper atmosphere of Jupiter. That's Jupiter right there. And, uh, let's see. Speed up time a little bit here. Slow it down. And there's one. And there's two. Three. Four. Five. And that's... And there's a couple more coming this way. But, uh, yeah, that's why Jupiter now uh, has some of those spots. I think some of them are still visible to, uh, to telescopes as little indents in the gas cloud. But, uh, yeah. It's that historical event that happened. Um... There's, and there's a whole bunch of different things you can do. Explosion, super, supernova, uh, 
and slow motion you can do here. There's just so many things here that are so amazing. Evolution of a single star. Let's let's look at that one. That's what that is a proto star right there, I believe. And uh, as it slowly starts to expand into we are in the millions of years now, and uh, wow, that is a whole lot of coronal mass ejections going on there. As it whoa. I think that's actually the formation of a star right there. That big explosion that just happened. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be the gas clouds settling. But uh, if we up the yearage here, million years per second. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so close to the star. What, what was that? What is that? Supernova? Star age, 22 million years old. Let's see if we can get it up a little bit more. Let's see if we can do billions of years. Uh, that's billions of years a second. Which the star would then uh, start to explode after a while, I believe. Come on. I do not believe you're 22 million years old anymore. find that hard to believe. <laughs> this does not. This... Normally this lags out a computer when there's other things in the systems to go this fast, but there's just this and I guess this star is living for a large uh, Large amount of time though It is possible that it's already a remnant In which case it's a white dwarf uh, Supernova remnant and those things Well scientists say the universe hasn't existed long enough for those to uh, For those to exist or for those to die out which is kind of kind of awesome when you think about it but uh, earth exploding in real time let's see what this looks like kaboom and there's the moon over there see if scientists were on the moon what would they see with the earth exploding oh wow that's kind of spectacular isn't it this moon is only halfway full there is no it doesn't look like there's another layer to this. That's interesting. Anyway, look at that Earth explode. We would all, of course, be dead at this point. But uh, let's, you know what, let's explode the moon. Just because I like it. Actually, let's do this. Let's add a pulse here. So that propagates out that way. These are now probably all going to follow that pulse. And uh, the moon here is now probably going to be flowing a little bit off course but uh, let's up the time here look at all those earth fragments i'm not sure the probability of one of those hitting the uh the moon but uh it's the earth exploding in real time now i was trying to find one that was um like the moon being formed and I couldn't really find one. They say it, it was almost like this, Earth and Mars, and a, Earth and a Mars-sized planet, you know, exp uh, hitting together. But uh, I'm really not sure if they have something uh, for the moon forming in here. Still, though, it, that would have been a nice thing to perhaps, perhaps uh, make and add together. I'm not sure if it's the uh, physics engine could handle it in this. But let's let's see Earth and Mars, right? They say that's what happened to form the moon. But uh, I think this one just causes the Earth to gain a whole heck of a lot of masses. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to uh, explore this wonderful game with you guys um i've been playing around with it for like the past day or so it's actually rather fun and uh yeah if you guys enjoyed the game it's available on steam it's a relatively cheap game and it's uh it's fun you know let the creators know that you liked it download it yourself have some fun blowing up multiple planets like the uh the earth and mars right here and uh look it's even got a nice little ring formation forming around which is what they say form to the moon i believe if we were actually rotating everything here and it would actually get some ejecta all the way out here that would form into it but uh 
yeah, you guys enjoyed, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all those things. I know it's a rather shorter episode for uh, today. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys all in the next video. Oh,